In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a typing test in Typing Club School Edition. To create a test, click on Typing Tests on the left-hand side. Then click Add Test in the top right corner. First you'll create a name for the test. Then you can add an optional description. Then you can add an optional start and end date. You can also choose an image. Next you get to choose your text. You can either enter your own text. This is helpful if you want to reinforce topics that the students are already learning in the classroom. So for example, if you're currently learning about solar systems, you could enter an informative text about solar systems. That way your students are getting some extra practice on typing while also reinforcing that knowledge that you're learning in the classroom. Alternatively, you can click on text templates and use one of our pre-made templates. You can also add alternative text options if you would like. Next, you get to decide who can take the test. Is it only the students you select? any student in the school, or any student in the account. You can also decide how many times they can take the test. You can also decide if there's a time limit. So if you check this box, you can enter your own time limit. If you do not select a time limit, the students will have as long as it takes them to finish typing all of the text. You can also decide the passing requirements. So do you want to pass everyone who attempts the test? or do you want to only pass students that meet the passing criteria? If so, you get to decide the minimum accuracy and the minimum speed. So I'm gonna change the minimum accuracy to 90% and the minimum speed to 10 words per minute. You get to decide if you want to show the score to students. And if you do, you get to choose the speed goal and the maximum score. So I'm gonna change the speed goal to 30 words per minute but I'll keep the max score as 1,000 points. And then you can decide if you want to disable backspace for this test and if you want to issue a certificate to students who finish the test. If you do want to issue a certificate to the students, you need to make sure that you check this box before the students take the test uh, because certificates cannot be issued retroactively. Once you're done with these settings, you can click Create Test and then add your students if you haven't made the test visible to everyone in the school or account. You can assign students from a class or assign individual students. I'm going to assign students from a class. So then I just select the class name and then all students from this class will be added to the test. Next, I'll go to view test. So here you can see a quick overview, the name of the test, the description, the dates the test is active, the date the test was created. Here you can see the test text. You can edit it if you would like, and you can also see a quick overview of the settings and edit those as well. Next, you can see all of the students that have access to the test and if they've completed it or not. Since all of these students have a red X, it means that they have not completed the test. If they had, there would be a green check mark. You can also see a list of the instructors that have been added to the test. And here you can see test results. We'll go ahead and take a look at one of my older tests so we can see what the results look like. But first here you can also see some quick information on all of your tests. So you can see how many students the test was completed by, the availability of the test, is it the entire account or only selective students, and is the test active now or not. So I'll go ahead and click on one of my older tests and then go to results. So here you can see how many students failed, how many students passed. You can see the top performers and what was their speed and accuracy. You can also view the collective average performance, so the average accuracy, the average speed. And then here you can see an overview of the student's best attempts. You can also export. You can export uh, the best attempts or you can export all attempts. And you can also see a specific certificate has been printed or issued. Next, I will log in as a student so you can see what the test looks like from their end. 
can then scroll down to see the tests. This is the test we just created. Click Start Test, and then they can begin typing.